Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team. Guys, so our, our project was to do a fire glow and also do a water glow. It was supposed to be punch activated, so we'll be, we were supposed to add a, include an accelerometer. So that way when we punch, it will detect the speed and it will trigger the functions for the fire and it will open the solenoid gate and also it will turn on the electric lighter because we use an electric lighter. For the electric lighter, uh, we had to disassemble it and it came with a button so we disassembled and connected to the Arduino board. Yeah, so this is the, right here, this is the lighter, we had to break it down and connect uh, these two cables to the Arduino board. Also, we had to go to Home Depot and get uh, some of these parts, like this was the butane chamber and this right here, the one in, uh, by, by side of the lighter, this is the solenoid. So the purpose of this chamber was uh, whenever we open the solenoid, it will speed the butane and from the back, right here, this uh, bulb, this is where we put the butane. When we did it, uh, we opened the, the bulb. <laughs> we opened the bulb, inserted the butane, and whenever it was full, we closed it, removed the butane, and that way, whenever we wanted to shoot, uh, it was supposed to be a uh, motion sensor, so whenever it was really fast, it will open the solenoid gate, and yeah, so that was the project for the fire glove. For the wire glove, it was supposed to be the same, yeah, for, for the wire gun, we use the same uh, amount. Uh, we had to go to Home Depot too to get these parts. And we have the acceler accelerometer. And also we went to get uh, some spray gun for um, target, an electric one. And we had to connect to cables so that way we can connect it to the Arduino board. And this, this will be like the chamber in, if we're comparing it to the fire glove. And it will be the same concept. Uh, the only differences will be one will be metal chamber and the other one plastic chamber. So we weren't able to get it done because uh, we had an inconvenience and we burned our Arduino. I think we put uh, too much voltage on it and it got fried. So whenever we connected to the computer, it didn't work anymore. <laughs> so yeah. One of the hardest part for this project was to get the parts together. We had to do like five trips to Home Depot and some of them they didn't have the parts so we need to go to other Home Depots. And also another problem was getting the right parts. Many of those parts, so for example the Arduino Pro Mini, that wasn't the same we, we planned to use so we ended up using... At first we wanted to use a Wi-Fi that had the Wi-Fi included but the one we had was the Arduino Pro Mini. And that was also one of our inconvenience to get the right parts. We didn't, so we had to change uh, our design because we didn't find the parts we wanted. Uh, we didn't know that the numbers actually matter. <laughs> they carry different properties, so that was an inconvenience. But we got it to work at a certain point, which I think that's the purpose of the project. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys like it. Thank you. So some of the problems we had in making our fire glove was our accelerometer, which we have connected here, but it stopped working with the rest of our circuit. So we had to trigger the punches manually with buttons. And we also had problems getting enough power to the solenoid. So we connected a battery and then had to manually connect the wires when the lighter was on. And we worked out the circuit for the LCD and the lights, but we didn't finish connecting it to the rest of the glove. So it's no punch, and then we press the button, and this one turns on, and we have a punch. And it goes back to no punch. <laughs> There you go. Top. There you go. <laughs> awesome. Oh no! You, did I get in the way? Yes! Sorry. 
Ruin your shot this time. Oh! oh. <laughs> yes! That was worth it! Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs>